also speaking has three parts part one two and three part one is very important in many ways first of all in the part one they are asking about yourself if you want to be good at english speaking that should be your first priority per se you want to learn english you want to talk in english what the first thing you want to do you must want to talk about yourself right whenever you want to talk about a language you must be able to talk about yourself right that's your first priority in ielts speaking part one they will always ask you the question that will be about yourself all the time and that's the question they're gonna ask in the speaking part one so today we're gonna learn a method how to talk about yourself when they ask you the question it can be for ielts speaking part one it can be your english speaking elementary process when you want to start your english speaking learning you can also start with as part one so the types of question they will gonna ask you in this part one will be about yourself let's go and explore some questions this is the book from the cambridge 19 the last book of the cambridge latest one the first question is can you find food from many different countries where you live so they are asking you about your place the countries where you live where you live means the place the place the location you live in right they are asking about that so can you find different countries food can you find different countries first say now think about different country first say indian food can you find indian food out there first say you live in qatar first say you live in qatar so the place you live in can you find indian food out there can you find chinese food out there can you find italian food out there that's the question they are asking so if yes is the answer then you'll see yes i find this kind of food out there so you can follow a strategy that will might give you the right way the strategy is dre process d r e whenever they will gonna ask you the question the examiner ask you the question the first thing you need to do is giving them the direct answer direct answer that should be your first priority direct answer what does it mean per se let's write a question do you like parks per se this is the first question they have asked you do you like parks direct answer if you like parks then you can start with yes i do love you just change the word like to love a little bit of paraphrasing i do love parks you start with the answer direct answer why it is important because they are asking you do you like perks now if you started the answer there are a lot of perks in Qatar there are a lot of perks in Bangladesh there are a lot of perks in India so they are not asking you how many perks are there in your country they are asking you do you like perks if you like it you can say yes if you don't like it then you can say no so that's the way of starting always start with the direct answer it's a very important because if they want to know something else they will ask you they have asked you do you like it if yes you say yes if no then you say no so direct answer should be the starting point it is very important if you don't answer directly then you might lose the answer you might lose some marks out there very crucial so direct answer but it's not enough because if you just answer with just one word or with three four five words that's not enough you need to extend a little bit more how can you extend that after giving the direct answer you can give some reason one or two reasons for that like here do you like purse so first we said yes i do love purse then you can ask yourself why i do love purse why i do love purse ask yourself why do you love it like for me i can say this is the only place this is the only this is the only place where i can go this is the only place where i can go and refresh myself and refresh myself okay reason done so first direct answer then you can give the reason 
So you give the direct answer, yes, I do love parts. Then reason. Then reason you can also use the word because. Because. You can also use that. Because this is the only place where I can go and refresh myself. So you give the direct answer, then give the reason. Now, if you want to extend a little bit more, you can finish your answer here. It will be a good one. But if you want to extend a little bit more, what you can say? Then you can give some extra information or example. So E means E means direct answer, R means reasons, and E means either you give some extra info, extra info about the question they have asking you, or an example. Like here, if I want to add some extra info, give some in extra example or extra info, I can say. First, yes, I do love parks. This is the only place where I can go and refresh myself. There is a park. There is a park. There is a park just beside, just, just beside my place. Just beside my place. You can say place or you can say home, right? Just beside my place or home. I go there. I go there uh, on every weekend, on every weekend, on every weekend and play with child children and play with children, play with children. See, now your answer is perfect. How is it? First you said, yes, the question was, do you like perks? You said, yes. I do love purse. This is the only place where I can go and refresh myself. There is a park just beside my home. I go there on every weekend and play with children. This looks like a very good answer if you can maintain that. So again, the uh, way first DRE. DRE, always remember that. DRE, start with direct answer. Then give reason one or two. And finally, just put some extra info or example. This is optional. Per se, if you give the direct answer and you put maybe two reasons, then your answer is already okay. You don't need to put extra example or extra info. But if your answer is very direct, just with one or two words and your reason is also very short, then you can add extra info or example. You can use this method in your daily life speaking, also in IELTS speaking. Both. If you want to make this answer a little bit better, then you can add some words out there. I can go, I go there. Instead of say I go there, you can say I visit there. What you can say? I visit. Right? Visit is a little bit better word than go. I visit there every weekend rather than saying every weekend you can say i visit there often i visit there often often doesn't mean every weekend means sometimes often means sometimes or more than that often often is better word so i visit there often and play with children instead of saying and you can say as well as as well as then your answer will become better. If you want to make it even better, then what you can say? Then you can also change the structure of this sentence. How you can do this? Okay, let's go and do that. So you said, this is the only place where I can go and refresh myself. Right? Then you want to change it. So, there is a perk just beside my place. I not only, what you can say, I not only. I not only visit there open, I not only visit there often, I not only visit there often, but also, but also play with, play with children. Then you see, now you have different types of structure in your one answer. So first, you answered with directly yes i do love purse and then after that you said uh, this is the only place 
this is the only place where i can go and refresh myself very direct and then you start with there is a perk just beside my place or beside my home then you use a very good structure not only but also you also use a good word often right this is very good now let's do it for this question that we have seen in the cambridge 9 the question is can you find food from many countries where you live again your answer should start with d direct answer so if you can find it you can start with yes yes there are there are a lot there are a lot variety there are a lot variety of food so if you want to use food then good but if you want to make it better then you can use cuisine right instead of food you can use cuisine so yes there are a lot variety of cuisines ah, in the place i live in in the place i live in in the place i live in the place i live in then your direct answer is complete your d is completed yes there are a lot variety of cuisine on the place i live in then you want to give some info or reason then you want to say what types of food you can find there then you can give some example as so for example for example right you can say for example indian chinese italian food you can always find then you can, if you want to add more info you can say indian is my favorite or chinese or italian is my favorite so there is the way you need to handle there is another question if you want to try that have you ever tried making food from another country so making means cooking here right making means cooking so they are asking you have you ever tried food from another country another country means another nation so if yes is the answer for say you have a tried noodles you wanted to cook noodles uh, maybe from korea for say so if yes is the answer you don't want to always start with the same word yes there are some similar word you can use instead of yes for say instead of yes you can sometimes say definitely uh, you can say obviously because most of the time you need to start your answer with yes or no it is better to know some synonyms so that you will be able to use because if you look at the band descriptors in the lexical item band descriptors if you don't know about it teacher will always gonna score you based on the band descriptors there are four criteria of band descriptors fluency and coherence lexical grammatical range and accuracy and finally pronunciation right so if you go to the lexical resource uh, they are asking for something for say some ability to use less common items or idioms so they are asking you if you have the ability to use some less common items so if you always use yes they will not give you this per se here vocabulary may be inappropriate so see the difference between six this is for band six and this is for band seven right this is for band seven this is for band seven and this is for band six in six they are not talking about the less common see you can't find less common but if you go to the band 7 they're talking about less common if you want to get a little bit better score than the 6 you want to use some kind of less common so yes is not less common items right no is not less common items so you want to use some less common items per se in terms of yes you can use definitely you can use obviously right um, sure that there is another word sure right these are the words you can really use instead of using yes for no uh, you can say not really not really i don't think so i don't think so i don't think so right these are the words you can really use so here the question was have you ever tried uh, making food from another country so you can start with the use uh, definitely definitely so you can start with the d the direct answer definitely uh, noodles should be the noodles should be the first priority 
it's very easy to cook it's a korean food what you are saying um let me raise a little bit so that it will be easier for me to write and for you to understand what they're saying you can start with definitely noodles is a korean food that i always that i always try to cook try to cook right so direct answer is done now you want to give some reason why maybe you want to say mainly because mainly because mainly because it is very easy to cook it is very easy to cook the reason is done you will need just two minutes and it will be ready to eat you will need just two minutes and it will be ready to cook see now if you want to make your answer a little bit better uh, it is very easy to cook instead of saying that you can say it is super easy to cook what instead of saying easy you can say it is super it is super easy to cook you will need just two minutes you will just need two minutes and it will be ready to eat so in that scenario if you explore more questions you always follow the method d r e if you can follow that it will be very easier for you doesn't matter it's also speaking part one or even in your general life you should start with that because if you want to good at english the first thing you want to do you should be able to talk about yourself and also speaking part one they are always asking you about yourself so give the direct answer give one or two reason then if needs to be add some extra example or one extra example or just one extra info you are done so try that at home hopefully it will gonna help you